So I finally played Battlefield 2042, and this is what happened. Oh, this guy's got a freaking riot shield on him. Oh, gosh. I don't like where this is going. I really don't like where this is going. <laughs> I really don't like... Oh, my God. It's a one-tap. Like that right there. Oh, my goodness. Well, I don't even know what that was. Oh, my God. I got completely ran. Oh, is that a tank? Uh, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, gosh. <laughs> hey, anyone want to shoot this thing? Oh, gosh. That's how you get your engineers to help out. Just jump on top of the enemy vehicle, and then they'll have to know where it is. He's up on the roof. Oh! <laughs> they trying back again up there? He's trying again. One thing I'm happy about this new update, you can actually choose your loadout. Like an engineer. Well spawn on the tank guy. And see what happens. I'm in the tank. That makes it even better right here. So, today I'm playing, well, Battlefield 2042. You might be thinking to yourself, Kevin, this isn't Halo. And well, you'd exactly be right. And well, the reason why I'm playing in Battlefield 2042 right now is because you had to pay for the game. And with Game Pass Ultimate kind of working the way it does, Seems like EA wanted to have a full year of exclusivity with this game before actually giving it to the players or letting the players jump into play. So, with Season 3 update here for Battlefield 2042, it actually became available for Game Pass users to jump in and play. So, this is what I'm getting a chance to finally do. And if you guys don't know, I'm actually a huge Battlefield fan. I love this franchise so much, especially Battlefield 3 and 4. Oh my gosh, so many hours played. These D1 actually needs to be captured, so let's jump in the, over to that. But yeah, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, guys. If you guys long, long, long time viewers of the channel, you know that I actually used to post Battlefield content quite often. Basically was a Battlefield YouTuber for uh, quite a few years. For during like uh, the 2012 era to about the 2014 era. Something like that, 2011, 12, 2014. Basically just doing Battlefield content because I just fell in love with the franchise because well, basically, like, I kind of got sick and tired of Call of Duty being, well, Call of Duty, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I was needing something new. Hey, Halo 4 wasn't exactly my jam back then, so I kind of fell in love with Battlefield. And it takes, like, large-scale gameplay to a whole new level. And with the Season 3 update, brings this new map here, Spearhead, which we're trying out right here. They have a full, like, 24-hour, 24-7 playlist for Spearhead alone, which is great. Love it when companies do that or game companies do that for their new modes and maps and stuff like that you you, you want to jump in and play the new stuff you know you don't want to sift through hours and hours of playing you know the stuff you've played a million times already you want to jump and do the new stuff you get this guy peek over here oh this guy's got a freaking riot shield on him oh gosh i don't like where this is going i really don't like where this is going <laughs> i really don't like oh my god it's a one tap no way <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what the heck of a riot shield, dude? Oh my god, that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> and then also with Battlefield 2042, like it seemed like it wanted to be like the new Battlefield 4, which a lot of people hold in regard as like the best version of Battlefield in the franchise. Which, I mean, that game had a rough launch. Let me tell you. Oh my gosh! If you, like if you thought MCC had, it was like MCC quality bad launch. Like it was broken beyond belief but you know after a year of support the game got better and you know got into a good state kind of like with mcc but like obviously it took a little bit longer with that one but also with this update came so as i mentioned earlier came with classes set up so you can do now in the game which is fantastic i love the class that the traditional battlefield games had comes with uh, two new map remakes as well which is really great because a big pain point with uh, the new battlefield maps is they're very open and large because they essentially double the player count but they didn't exactly balance the maps properly for that so that's what they're kind of going back and redoing a lot of that stuff as well and from what i've seen you know i've been keeping up with battlefield like on the side here and there just kind of seeing like okay how's it going on over there because obviously i'm not really playing the game or able to play it because it's paywalled that uh, it wasn't really jumping in but i just kind of keeping an eye on things and i think dice is doing a pretty good job of listening to what the people want for the game and actually making improvements on it in a relatively timely manner. It's actually kind of weird seeing like this game kind of get a bit of a rebound because 
with the launch of this game, oh my gosh, it was awful. People did not like it. In fact, the release of Battlefield 2042 made Halo Infinite look really good. Then they, you know, the de developers or I should say EA themselves actually stated that the launch of Halo Infinite was so good, it made this game look way worse than it actually was, kind of thing. And like, eh, debatable, man. Oh, I think I just did live a little bit longer. So it's kind of funny to see how this game is kind of, these games are kind of flip-flopping now with Infinite, you know, kind of struggling. We know the winter update for Halo Infinite was really good. A great step in the right, for, forward in the right direction. But, yeah, Battlefield's the, one, the game right now that's actually like being able to deliver some content that the, the players want, you know? It's kind of crazy to see how these two games are really flip-flopping at the moment. I get this revive off. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> get back in this sort of game, soldier. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. The headshots came in the clutch right there. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is a spicy corner right here. This is the stuff I like about Battlefield, man. It's just total chaos moments like this. Really, just like, really makes the game play shine. Or just like, these, sometimes you get people just kind of caught in these tight corners and then you have to just battle of attrition almost, just kind of work your way up the hill through the sectors or whatever, and then just beat the other team. I and mean, that's what some of the fun aspects of this game are. It can also be a total meat grinder crab shoot as well. But you know, it's kind of like, this feels very much like an Operation Metro kind of moment. You guys ever played that map back in the day. I was killed by it's Toby Maguire as well. Oh my god, it just feels like extra trolly. Oh, we're getting back up. Yes, the teammate comes in the clutch. But I've seen a lot of people also get back onto Battlefield 1. It's kind of been a, a bit of a momentum shift right there a little bit when it comes to this franchise. I mean, if you guys would want to see some Battlefield 1 gameplay, I'm down. I mean, I never really played it a whole lot, but mainly because back in the day, my PC just wasn't good enough to handle it. And I just kind of refused to play Frostbite engine games on console. I feel like they they handle super sloppy on controller. We can go back and grab this B1 section section here. A good strategy with Battlefield actually is to kind of back cap people so you like because usually there's like a front line that usually happens with each game. Oh my gosh, how did that guy survive? Well, the back cap kind of failed. But we can check out another section of the map and feel like I'm hanging around the building area a little too much. Uh, <laughs> Got you there, buddy. A little bit of a battlefield trick here. You kind of run out of bounds to get back in bounds. Kind of cut the corner a little bit. Get some good shots on people like that right there. Uh huh. Uh -huh. to see the skills are still here. Got you too, right there. I see you on the mini map. Oh, we got more friends. Here we go. I just need this rock. Is all I need. But actually, one technique I actually learned from Battlefield that actually made me a better Halo player was uh, the fact that you can kind of like pre-fire a corner if you know where someone's going to be, right? Kind of just, oh, there we go, nice little sneaky shot right there. That like, if you know someone's going to be right around this corner, right? You kind of just like pre-fire the corner a little bit, so you damage like the rock in front of you, but as soon as you're peeking, you're firing your gun, laying some shot damage down, and I actually kind of utilize that a lot when it comes to playing this game and also in Halo. Uh, also, my tank gameplay improved in Halo a lot, so just vehicle play in general. Because with, with Battlefield, you have to be a little bit more, you know, defensive with your vehicles. You can't just run around the open and just kind of blow stuff up. Which sometimes you can get away with that, because in Halo, it's not usually like a direct counter that someone could just spawn with, like you can in Battlefield. Like this guy with the... Oh, like that guy right there. He had like a rocket launcher in his back pocket. Like, yeah, that's one of the things you gotta do when you're playing Battlefield. You gotta play a little bit more defensive with your vehicles, a little smarter. And I actually utilize that a lot been playing Halo and it comes in the clutch. So one thing you can do also, since I am in a vehicle, I can spawn in as an engineer here. Providing kind of support needed. Oh gosh, maybe, oh, oh gosh, maybe not. <laughs> well, the idea was to spawn in as an engineer and repair the vehicle when needed, like so. Help out my friends here when I can. Because I'm a team player like that. Got my teammate over trying to do the back cap technique like I was talking about earlier. See if we can help out. Kind of surrounded in this location, but we'll see if we can make some, put some damage in, you know. Like that, right there. Oh my goodness, well, I don't even know what that was. It's just like, freaking mortar strike just dropped in and out of our heads. Oh my god! 
I got completely ran over. <laughs> I'm not even mad about that. That's just funny. <laughs> Actually, now we finally got a chance to play on one of the reworked maps, Kaleidoscope, here. And basically what they did is they changed a lot of the positions here. As you can see, they're much more just focused in the center before. They're kind of spread out a bit more than you'd kind of like them to be for the most part. So actually, let's try to mix up here. Let's try it with our uh, assault. Actually, let's try it with a little assault class. Yeah, just a little LMG action, ammo crate, you know, all that good stuff. On our teammate, which is usually what I avoid to do for most of the time. But, you know, we'll see what happens. So I've never played this map. And I'll probably show in the gameplay, but we'll see what happens, you know? <laughs> Maybe a little advantageous spot up here. Oh gosh, they mean to fall. All right, well, we're good. We're fine. <laughs> oh, you know, you're not. You don't take on my teammates like that. Oh, no, let me back up on top of the... Why, am I, why is my character being all weird? Oh, that snipey boy at me here. No more, though. Oh, but there's too many of them around the corner. Actually, I want to hop back up to the medic class real quick. Well, look at this whole section right here. What is going on here? Uh, uh okay, we got a bridge going. <laughs> oh gosh, where are we getting sniped from now? So I want to like switch them back to the medic class here because I want to showcase like the cool like T system now. You can like kind of change your loadout on the fly kind of thing. I'm not gonna put like a two time scope on and kind of get some good like long distance gunfights in if I wanted to. But I feel like things are gonna be a little bit more, uh, a little close quarters. I can just switch it back over to the. Man, that's rare. Oh, we got. Got a friendly dead. Oh, what? There's that guy behind me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is we're gonna get the tornado on this map too? Oh, jeez. Is this actually plays a factor in the game? This would be hilarious. There, there, I think we kind of have to go towards the tornado for the content, you know. I've actually, when I played the beta when this game first kind of came out, I never really had a situation to get involved with a tornado. But we'll see what happens. Oh my god, look at this thing right here. It's like making my UI all glitch out too. <laughs> oh gosh! I was distracted by the tornado. I can get revived. No, come back! Where? Why would you leave me? There we go. There we go, we got that guy down too. I think that's the guy I just killed him too, so. Get back at you, buddy. I see you. I see you. Don't act like I don't see you, because I see you. Oh, is that a tank? Uh, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, gosh. What is this thing? <laughs> hey, anybody want to shoot this thing? Oh, gosh. I don't exactly have the tools. That's how you get your engineers to help out. Just jump on top of the enemy vehicle and then they'll have to know where it is. So that guy on the mini map. <laughs> I can get you, buddy. I can get you. I think I'm good. Get you back in. So that's where he's at. Okay. Ah, oh, right back at you, buddy. <laughs> Saw some vehicles over here, so I'm gonna... Jump in as an engineer and see if I can, you know, put a little damage on these guys here. Oh gosh, there we go. Here we get, 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 get the kill. Yeah, we got him. You know what? Since there's so many people around that objective, what if we kind of hang back and just kind of get a little, get a little snipey with it? You know what I mean? Hey, there we go. There we got another one. There we go. I was like, I can hit this. Yeah, we got another one. We're just picking them off, guys. There we go. There we go. I was like, this guy's wiggling too much. Give me a chance. Oh gosh, we're gonna shot in the back now. Don't let the streak die, brothers. He's up on the roof. Oh, <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, guys, we're just sniping so many dudes right now. This is incredible. How about another one? Are they trying back again up there? He's trying again. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, this is making it easy. Can't be our first dub in Battlefield. It is. Let's go. Oh, yeah, you love to see it. That was amazing. I don't know. I'm kind of enjoying Battlefield 2042. Is that weird to say right now? 
like that that was fun and i kind of want to do it again but overall you know we, we finished seventh on our team of 64 players so i think we did all right for ourselves guys so as always leave a like if you guys want to see some more battleful content or other games let me know in the comment section down below thank you all for watching